Hello and welcome to Sunflower Auction. This is Greg Fister, your auctioneer. I'm going to be giving you guys a video preview of our upcoming auction on August 11th. That's a Saturday, a couple weeks from now. Uh, 2012 is the year and uh, we've got a really nice uh, antique and collectible auction coming up here in a couple weeks. Uh, it'll be a live at our gallery down in the West Bottoms of Kansas City, Missouri, 1314 Hickory Street. And uh, we'll also be doing a live simulcast auction on proxy bid for anyone who can't attend in person. Um, the focus of this auction is obviously uh, Longaberger baskets and pottery, Steins, real nice beer Stein collection, a QP collection, got some nice barrister bookcases, and uh, then some other lots, Christmas plates and uh, Ricker pewter and some other collectibles mixed in. Um, let me go through the sale just briefly here in catalog order more or less. Um, we're going to start with Longaberger. Um, I think there's around 200 lots. This is one of the nicest Longaberger collections uh, we've had in a number of years. Uh, we'll start with uh, a lot of the pottery. A lot of this is just brand new. A lot of the hard to find traditional red pottery. Uh, some with the uh, wrought iron like the mixing bowl stands. There's a mug uh, rack. Some really nice big baskets here, hard to find ones on the top. Uh, there's a lamp, there's a laundry basket. These plaques are uh, old. Uh, that pair there, nice print. Um, continuing with Longaberger. Some mixed lots here, a couple throws. Some of the uh, nylon totes. Um, again, let me just point out, this is a, a JW original market basket. Uh, look in the catalog for that and then all the way down the top here Well starting with this next one. This is also a tough hard to find one with the original tag um, This is the 1981 original bread and milk basket Then from there we go through all the JW series on the top starting with the waist the apple, etc, etc clear down to the end there uh, We'll be selling all those separately the ones that are on the tables in flats obviously we will be selling in a group some of these in the shelves and the cubby holes. Some will be singles, some will be in groups. Got some early Christmas baskets there. Some really neat different uh, colored weaves on some of these baskets. A lot of these baskets are brand new. Uh, the watermelons, the bushel there in the green. Um, a lot of these lots are just chock full. There's going to be four and five and uh, six baskets or more in a big group. Um, following along here, um, come down we've got a really nice lot there with the five catch-alls, uh, some of the newer stains, etc. Um, more lots here. We've got a nice woven panel chest hiding back in the back there. Uh, you know, just big lots. I mean, check these out. You've got six spring baskets. That's one lot. You've got a group of vegetable baskets, some heartland, some big uh, holiday hostess hidden back there and uh, some wrought iron some basket shelves at the end there so just make sure you look these up these are going to be some really nice money-making lots for some of you um, that are going to be reselling a lot of nice collectible ones if you're collecting hold on just a second here before I lose my power, sorry about that. Um, and then the rest of the longer burger, let me swing back around here. Um, rest of the longer burger back over here. A lot of these baskets are just brand new. Um, these watermelons, there's a uh, variations on the medium market theme. Some nice newer ones there. The uh, cat, there's some Halloween baskets. Uh, back on the back side here Some more pottery a lot of this is just brand new in the box. There's a new um, What do you call that an umbrella wrap around? Just some neat baskets a lot of these brand new Some neat lots that we put together. So that's the longer burger um, from longer burger we are going to go into the other miscellaneous antiques collectibles. We've got a really nice uh, collection of barrister bookcases here. Uh, most of these are Globe Winerki with the original paper tags. We've kind of grouped them together like that. 
three stack there is all globe. This stack over here is all globe. And then we've got a Hamilton, I believe. It's a grandfather clock. Um, it does work. We're, uh, we've transported it in. We're, we're going to put it back together. Have it working for you. Um, another mantle clock here. Got a little, a little uh, 22, little kid's rifle there. This is the Christmas plates. Um, these are the Royal Copenhagen, I believe, complete sets of years. These are Francoma. And then one lot here on the table. These are the Bing and Grundle Christmas plates. Clear back to the beginning. Back with that one, I believe, is the first one. So, really nice lot there. That's, uh, I don't know how many plates. Check the catalog. Uh, some more Francoma. This is actually three lots of the elephant and the donkey mugs. This is like a, check the calendar, it's almost a complete set. This is almost a complete set. These are the duplicates. Um, belt buckles, I forgot to mention. Um, this is the belt buckle collection. The, this right here, this is your uh, one of the top lots here. 1974 through 2000 something. These are the uh, National Finals Rodeo Heston. The 74, we believe, is a reproduction, but the others are authentic. But um, come double check us on that 74. We've got the ladies buckles here to accompany the uh, the men's. Got a Confederate States. We think that's probably a reproduction. The U.S. looks pretty good. Um, other just a lot of Kansas history, a lot of Kansas buckles. A couple of uh, silver buckles there. Those three will sell in one lot. Of course, we've got the K-State and then that other belt buckle there. Um, Ricker Pewter time. Let me swing around here. We've got a super nice collection of Ricker Pewter. One of the biggest ones we've ever sold. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of these in box lots, as you can tell. But uh, could have probably sold a lot of these separately. But um, be sure to look at each and every piece in these lots. Here's two that have the certificates, the Pecos Bill and uh, the other one there. A lot of children, a lot of clowns. Um, a lot of this came out of a collection out of Topeka, Kansas. Um, from a, uh, a Shriner, so you will see a lot of Shrine items or Shrine Bowl, shrine bowl belt buckles. Um, a lot of clowns in the Ricker here. Uh, a ton of clowns. There's going to be more clowns here. Um, some Hallmark, uh, some die-cast banks including Texaco and others. Check out that Possible Dreams lot. That's a, that surprised me to see what those were going for. Um, some teak wood little reproduction piece there on the cast iron. This is a really neat lot. This is the uh, Boris Vallejo Fantasy Knife Collection. Twelve of them, one for each month. And then another set of six here. Nice little collection of pins. Uh, pet pins here. Some early pre-war ones. And then some other Kansas history, etc. Um, back down this aisle here. We have, these are some hand, uh, handmade uh, belt buckle frames. We'll sell all those together. Here's the rest of the Ricker, some of the nicest ones. Uh, the Dolphin Group, Clown on Stilts, and then uh, the Bunny Band there in the acrylic case, all complete. Uh, some miscellaneous clowns. These are all Emmett Kelly. I think one of these or more, check the catalog, is actually signed by Emmett Kelly. We've got some decanters. Oh, I forgot to mention Ron Lee. Uh, more clowns, obviously. Um, this gentleman was a definitely a clown collector. So check out the Ron Lees. And then just some miscellaneous items there. Um, before I get to the Steins, let's look quickly at the QP collection. That's one other one of the other collections here. Got this big uh, 100th anniversary boy here. Uh, some Franklin mints, some Danbury mints. Check out all these. These are just floated full of bis cupies. We've got some crawlers, some sitters, um, etc. We've got some dolls from the 70s, new in box. We've got 80s, 90s, and 2000s. These are all vinyl cupies, new in the box. A lot of these will be selling in groups. And then the last of the dolls there, we've got a lot of Madame Alexander, and then kind of a mixed lot of dolls. Let me go to the Stein collection now. That's going to be the balance of the sale. It's going to be a, just an outstanding collection of beer steins. 
mostly Anheuser-Busch, Budweiser, but there are some others here. Um, let me start with those. You can see across, across the back row here, these are all your lithophane, German military steins. Um, these are some of the individual Budweiser, of course, the 1881 Holiday, the old, the, uh, the old Bud Man. Clydesdales, you've got a real neat, that's the last lot of the sale. That's the 100th anniversary Anheuser-Busch. Um, these are the ones in the boxes on the back. You've got a really neat Boris Karloff there. As Frankenstein, some more Budman. Louis the Lizard's a good one. Spuds McKenzie, the Dalmatian. Uh, all those across the back are just really good ones uh, with the boxes. Um, we've tried to make sets and groups where we could. A lot of these, uh, they go together. The holidays are kind of mixed lots here. Um, you've got a complete set of the endangered species right there, all eight of them. Just missing one box. You've got some really neat um, Irish uh, St. Patrick's Day. A lot of the series steins, a lot of the members only. These are members only. That's a real neat one there with the advertising. Um, you know, it's hard to believe we're selling them like this, but just for instance, that one right there, that's a lot of six. That's a lot of six. So uh, we've really loaded up, even though the sale has only has like 420, 430 lots. Each lot is very important. Each lot is chock full. Um, here's some non-Budweiser, that castle, Neuschwanstein, and the Coke, and then some other mixed, uh, just miscellaneous. Uh, forgot to mention this back in the back here. This is lot 207, I think. Uh, we'll sell choice. This is all your... USA basket country decor type items and we'll just sell that choice in that one lot at the end of the baskets when we get there and um, last but not least we have a few more steins not sure how these got separated but uh, we actually start with these steins up here and again more good Budweiser steins I think these are almost all Budweiser there's a few Avon uh, you've got the Judge right there. That's a real good one. Um, some more members only. A bunch of series like the Animals Complete Set. Got more Holiday. Um, you've got the Historic Landmarks. Re real neat ones here on the Pilsners. Three Pilsners. And then we got some more Avon. We've got a second set of the Endangered Species. So... Ironic, two sets of the endangered species in one auction. So, again, be sure to check it out. Price out this Longaburger. I think you'll really be surprised. There's a lot of money. There's a lot of money in Longaburger here, especially the way we've lotted it out. There's some really key pieces. Again, like the JW original from the 1930s right there. That one's hundreds of dollars. And some of these other ones too. So, some of these Longaburger lots, hundreds and hundreds of dollars. You guys know that. Be sure to research it, do your homework. Um, don't pass anything by in this sale. I think everything's gonna be real good, real good quality. And uh, we hope to see everybody out on August 11th, on Saturday, a couple weeks from now, or sooner, depending on when you're viewing this video on YouTube. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. 913-526-8622. Again, this has been Greg Fister, your auctioneer. I look forward to seeing you at the auction. Take care. Bye.